Well, I thought it was a, a hard battle for us today. Um, you know, but the game is played over 90 minutes, and you can't play 45 minutes of good soccer and expect to come out victorious. Uh, when you give up three goals in the first half like that, it's, you dig yourself a hole that it's very hard to come back from. But in the second half, we came out, we made some switches, and was able to get one back, but just wasn't quite able to get that, that second one that we needed to uh, in the second half to tie things up. Uh, but I can't fault their effort. I thought they put in the effort, you know, the, the, the second half. Uh, you know, we, we actually started the game well the first five, ten minutes or so, got some corners and stuff, was unable to capitalize, and, you know, they get three goals like that. Like I said, it, it's really hard to come back from. What's your impression of the play of, uh, of some of the young guys? Duncan McCormick comes in from the 18s and plays. Really well. Yeah, well, I think uh, Duncan played well, you know, but we've seen Duncan and we've seen uh, Henry Wingo. I thought he came in and played well for us, and these guys can play. You know, there's a reason why we bring them in when we when we need you know players because these guys can play and I thought they showed well for themselves today. Um, there's still some learning, you know, some some experienced stuff, some inexperience that that showed up today on on certain decision making, you know, on and off the ball. Um, but all in all, I thought you know it was a game where whoever scored first or whoever scored the first couple of goals will probably end up winning this game, and, and that's what happened today. Anyone stand out to you? Well, I thought Patrick Ayani actually played well today. Uh, you know, he's playing back there with you know guys that you know that's on trial, and I thought he was able to to lead. He was the captain today, and you know, he, even though you know you say the defense played well, you gave up three goals, but it was three pretty good goals. Uh, some you know lacked one v one defenders by by our trialists, but at the end of the day, you know, I thought it was a good game by him. Um, you know, uh, Luis came on and played well in the second half. Uh, he was able to. Get us going offensively, you know. Switch, get us to switch the ball, and so we can attack from both sides. Uh, that's something we were, we were missing in the first half. So, you know, all in all, the guys played well, and you know, I tip my hats off to them because it's easy going into the second half being down three-one to to give up, but they never did, and we asked them not to, and and they responded with with a good effort in the second half. We talked sometimes about how difficult it can be to kind of put a patchwork group together, but. You only had what four or five guys that, that play regularly with the Sounders in this team. How much more difficult does that make it? Well, whenever there are injuries with the first team, it affects the reserve team also. And right now we have a lot of injuries in the first team, so we're not able to. Guys were able. We had to pull guys up from the, from the reserve to play in the first team game, and so we're not. We don't have the full allotment of players that's on the roster. So we have to bring in, you know, a few uh, trialists and a few academy kids. But all in all, it doesn't matter who you know. You got, it's 11 v 11, and you got to go out and play the game. And I thought the guys showed well for themselves today. Chivas next week, huh? Yes, Chivas next week. No rest for the weary. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. All right. I'm Kyle Beckerman. I'm Landon Donovan. I'm Dwayne De Rosario. We love soccer. We train hard, we play hard, and we support with passion. When it comes to discrimination, we don't cross the line. No bullying, no racism, no sexism, no homophobia. No excuses, no exceptions. Don't cross the line. If you're playing, training, supporting, or coaching, don't cross the line.